called a partner? This, of course, is the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. I'm the host, Angus Number 7. I have a question that perhaps those of you in uh, YouTube land, you can help me to answer, you can help us to answer, or better understand because many of us we exhibit such behavior we exhibit that behavior now or we might find some kind of shame because that's what we did in our past I want to know and try to understand what we call irresponsible sexual behavior we want to understand why one would participate why would someone engage in irresponsible sexual behavior why would somebody want to jump from one person to another and another and another I'm told when you sleep with somebody, you sleep with everybody of whom they slept with. I'm pretty sure many of you have uh, heard this. <clears throat> I want to try to understand, and some of you, again, that's your experience. I cannot say that because I've never been that type of person. Wanting to jump from one person to another and, a, and another. I've always been the, uh, the nerd. The Steve Urkel. Did I do that? <laughs> I've always been the Steve Urkel type where I fall in love. I remember the first person I fell in love with was my teacher, Miss Steptoe. I didn't, I was young, I didn't understand this thing called love. What is that? You know you have a a love for your mother, your grandfather, and cousins. But this kind of love is, is, is different. This attraction you have to another person is different. And Miss Steptoe just, woo! Miss Steptoe, I heard that she has transitioned, but Miss Steptoe. And then I found out she was married. Her husband was the uh, the coach, track coach or whatever. And he wanted me to join the track team. and Yeah, but I didn't like him. <laughs> I didn't like him because he was married to Miss Steptoe. Miss, that's mine, Miss Steptoe. She's supposed to be with me, little young boy. And I assumed that Miss Steptoe probably was around my mother's <laughs> age. Love is a wonderful feeling, undescribable. I would assume, I would believe that many on social media, they probably don't know what love is, never have experienced the feeling, or they have been hurt so, so many times now that they become rigid. Love is impossible. So I will just wander around here. I was in love with a, a girl from the third grade 
And then she went missing around the fifth or sixth grade. And I did not see her again until the 10th grade, not, yeah, the ninth or 10th grade. I told you I was like Steve Urkel. Many other girls been around me. But for some reason, when you fall in love, it's just something about this person. You just fall in love with. And even though I never had an opportunity to really have a, a relationship with this uh, young lady, that feeling of love is incredible. Who was it? That singer, I believe, Percy Sledge. When a man loves a woman. When I was growing up, we had real songs. Men singing to women from the soul. That's why so many babies was getting made by these songs. Barry White, The Temptations. So many brothers in love. And some of these songs, that's where they come from. The soul. Coming from love. And then they express that love in a song. When a man loves a woman That's all I know I can't say, I don't know any more of the lyrics And I would look And I did look at other women And lusted Lust for You know But see love I don't care what another woman has. I don't care what another woman does. That one you fall in love with. She got what you need. So. I love that feeling. Also I put value on myself. As a male I was. I have been conditioned. And by other men. I am encouraged to, as they say, ho-ha. I've never, that's something I never was interested in doing because I have value on myself. I don't want everybody in the world, well, I had him. I had him. I had him. Now, for some people, I guess, when you don't have value to yourself, I guess that's something that you might want to do. I assume that many people jump from one person to another. I would assume sometimes it's because of low self-esteem. You might be overweight might be broke you don't see the value in yourself so whatever flies by you you willing to accept it we have a desperation we don't want to be alone some of us we are in denial of our own personal foul behavior and we keep running people away from us but instead of working on ourselves we would rather ignore and if that person cannot handle our foul behavior well then I just jump to the next one and you will never be happy you will never be satisfied A lot of it, of course, is chasing pleasure. I like sex. I like to tear that booty up. Ooh, 
And I love my booty getting toe up. We do this. Pleasure seekers. But a lot of this comes from some deep down hurt. Most women are not like men. Men are driven by the physical, the breasts, the thighs. We are driven by the physical. Women truly want that loving relationship like I want as a nerd. But when you're dealing with women, or men rather, when women are dealing with men who have been conditioned to sow my oats, they're not looking, they have been conditioned not to love you. Just view you as a sex object. And some of you know this, but because you are desperate, I got to have a man. Some of us men, we are desperate, I got to have a woman. So you willing to take anything or anyone because you don't want to be alone. You willing to sleep with anybody because the brothers say, man, when was the last time you got some booty? Yeah. Oh man, I got booty last night. And the guys get together and make mockery of the brother. That's your problem. You ain't had no cootie cat in a long time. At one time, women did not speak like this, but nowadays, women get together. Child, you need some dangling. You need, you need to get, you need to get some of that rod. We do things that's detrimental to ourselves because we want to, we want to please other people. There's an old saying: "It's better to be by yourself." than in the company of a fool. So we get involved in jumping from one bed to another and we smile and we giggle for a while. We enjoy, we enjoy ourselves for a while. But this creates domestic violence, unwanted children. It causes some of us to think about suicide because we was in love and the person was just playing us. They wasn't in love. They didn't care. They just wanted your body. They just wanted your money. They just wanted to use you. And we jumped from bed to bed. Children caught in the middle suffer. We laugh and we brag about the pleasure, how we, how we feel so good slinging the the putty tat around and slinging the ding a -ling and you laugh and you giggle. But there's no joy in domestic violence. There's no joy with unwanted children. There's no joy when your heart is broken because you was in love. We are not going to die because you don't have a man. You're not going to die, you're not gonna get sick because you don't have a woman. You can put more value on yourself and try to make better choices because clearly social media shows there are many hurt men and women. And jumping from bed to bed is a way to relieve ourselves of mental pain. It's like a drug. I could be wrong. Jot down your comments. Let's talk about it. And we'll catch you on the, on the flip.